Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. The guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope? with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A uh, Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, bloodstained with the initials H.M. found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too? Yeah, I want to make homicide.